Coming up right now, a real estate agent accidentally burns down a multi-million dollar property and a judge rules in the her employer is actually responsible. We're going to tell you what caused that fire. Also coming up, are her looks too good to be true? A model says she's so hot that people accuse her of being AI. Oh, I hate having that problem myself. <laughs> Ariana Grande, officially divorced and now must pay her ex-husband more than a million dollars in spousal support. Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. She absolutely is. I'm still Mitch English. We're welcoming yes, you to Daily Flash. we got a whole hour packed with good stuff, including our buddy mm -hmm. Matt Doolittle. We'll be checking in with him. Matty, it's Friday, man. You got weekend plans, man? Oh, brother. It is wrestling, it wrestling. mania brother. weekend. I could tell I could brother. tell right then and there that it was about wrestling. And the brother, He's yeah. brother, let me tell you something. Oh, we're having a, a couple of the guys here. We're all getting together, a party. The wife's coming. She's all in. She's got her shirt she, that, already picked out. Yep. She, her, his, his yeah. wife loves wrestling. I don't know if you heard it the It is a match made in heaven. <laughs> when we get, yes. Uh, and you're, he, she's in your corner. Now, yes. Yeah? Yeah, tag team match. Tag team. Ding. Ding. Tag team. Oh, are we talking about the wrestling match? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we got the uh, censors holding their finger down, so let's yes. move on. Uh, Gen Z ghosting I know their her. Imp Jennifer Z No, no, no. We're talking about Gen Z. Oh. The, okay. uh, the generation. Generation. Yeah. Ghosting employers at a ridiculous rate. Just not so showing up. Not or? showing up. They get the job. 90% are not showing up to get the job to start day one. Instead, they get the job and they think, eh, it's not really for me. So instead of calling to say, hey, I'm not going to be there, I've decided to do something else, they just completely disappear it, without any kind of responsibility or explanation. When you say that, it sounds just like guys di dating sometimes. Yes. It, you know, it's almost yeah. like, it's like you work really hard to get the, and then once yeah. you get it, you're like, oh, I don't really yeah, don't want yeah. it. Maybe it's the hunt uh, that they can date. I mean, because no. there are so many jobs available right now. Uh, you know, maybe not necessarily careers, uh, jobs, but I, I, you go down any uh, uh, restaurant, it's going to tell you now hiring almost everywhere. Here's their excuse. Okay, I'm going to They hear this. say they want more money and they want more benefits. And it is part of this whole act your wage movement. So they say if they can't get paid enough, what's the point of them showing up? My question is, how are they making any money? I remember being back in college, I was working three jobs yeah. just to survive and pay rent in San Diego, California. Now, how are you available to say, no, I'm not no, interested? Not at all. You know, uh, there's a lot of self-worth maybe involved in that. I guess. I know, though, however, I, I think that's coming out. I know that there are some Gen Zers out there that they're not like this. Yes. And, and they're getting the bad name. Like, they don't want to work, or they want to work for what they think is actually what they're, their they're worth. worth. Yeah. Which, I, there's a part of me that actually respects that. However, you gain that worth by the experience. Yes. And you're not going to get an experience. And it also think about the employer who said, "All right, we shut, we hired who we want, we shut it down." Now they got to go through that process all over again. If it's a you know decent exactly. uh, kind of job, yeah. A couple other Gen Z workplace deal breakers. They say a high ratio of white cis men was a problem for many. Set days required to show up to work, <laughs> and they didn't get their own office. Those oh, wow. were the excuses for not showing up to all the right. job. Okay. So we need to hear from you about this. Is yeah. this a great rep representation? Drop us an email, flash at dailyflashshow.com. I think we should dive into this a little bit more. This is very interesting. One of our uh, our executive producer, Hugo, said, I think it's because they can make money off of making videos. So they don't really need to have a that's Monday through Friday. That's a very good job. Very good, a good way to think about that as yeah. well. James, James is taking clear. Sorry. Our, James. our producer. James. Okay. We got to uh, jump into some trending stories here. Okay, you get the job you want. You want to be a real estate agent. Yeah. You're awesome. I'm going to oh, do yeah. awesome. And then you burn down a house. <laughs> it actually happened when a real estate agent burned down a multi-million dollar property while preparing for an open house. Judge has actually ordered that she and her employer must pay more than $555,000 in goodness. damages. Her name, Julie Bundock, and she was preparing for an open house when she noticed the current renters of the house had left some bedding on, on the deck to dry. Well, she removed the sheets to put them in downstairs room on a shelf below the light. 
which she then switched on. About 20 minutes later, a major fire broke out in the house. Investigators believe that bedding caught the fire uh, from that light. The house, about $2 million, along with all its contents, destroyed. The owner of the property, who has been trying to sell it, good luck now, uh, actually took the matter to court. You can imagine that. And now the four renters who lost all of their belongings in the fire as well involved with that as well. So, yeah, it's one of those things, you, the, the job, it's unfortunate that obviously yeah. happened. Uh, and here's somebody that was just trying to do good. Like, look, I'm trying to sell this house. Let's get these sheets out of here. Uh, and now you put them down, and then obviously that and, happens. And kudos to her because she took responsibility. Yeah, I would and give you that. And she said, yeah. you know what, it's my, you know, I did that. I, I put the sheets. But clearly there was an issue there, you know, maybe from a mechanical standpoint or a household wiring standpoint, who knows? But they determined it was a light bulb that caught the sheets on fire. And, you know, and th their insurance, you know, they might have been ordered to pay it, and the, but the real estate agent's uh, insurance might have paid some yeah. of that. It'd be really a, a shame if it actually comes out of her wallet, which probably will, some yeah. of it at least. Oh boy. Well, an Italian model claims she's often accused of being created by AI. The 29-year-old influencer was known to post glamour shots of herself for her $2 oh, million dollars. Oh, oh. I know. Ah. These are really hard to look at. Many people, she says, mistake her for a too-hot bot. <laughs> the bombshell believes you can always tell when an AI model's been used because they have the same sad expression in every single photo <laughs> and I, video. Uh, uh, she also claims online catfishers often hijack her likeness to generate views on social media. In other words, beauty is, is in the AI it? of the uh, beholder. <laughs> agreed with that. It's so sad. I'm so, I feel so sorry. I for know. Her. Isn't no. it sad? Um, and, you know, God bless her. Uh, do you, do you take the is she really that upset or is that kind of a compliment? Is that what what's that word they say a back uh, backhanded compliment? Kind of more or less. I think she's yourself. fishing for compliments. Fishing for it, yeah. yeah, but uh, she's also probably fishing for more likes because the story is getting well, out there. Talking. So and more there's no doubt she's her. beautiful. More Has anybody ever stole your likeness to try to get more followers on their own page? I put I put makeup on every morning that to look a little bit better. I, it doesn't seem to help me any though. I think we're gonna have more and more of this people looking at it going, "Is that real?" Like I think you're gonna just have that over the next five years of going. Right. I there's don't know. there's one of those car commercials out right now, and every time I see it, the kid inside the car is totally AI. I'm convinced 100. percent right. The mom isn't, but the kid inside the car is, you're, and you can tell. You're gonna have to tell me which commercial okay. it is, and we'll look for it. As All well. right. But I, I've been hearing commercials. Uh, where it's, it completely sounds like an AI voice, yeah. which you know, which makes me a little happier because it's going to go that way. Yeah. But it, at least now we can tell for True. right now. But it's when we don't. Oh, sad stuff. Ariana Grande and her ex-husband Dalton Gomez have finalized their divorce. The pop star asked for the divorce back in September. The couple had signed a prenup agreement, and there were no legal disputes to deal with over the past six months. Under the agreement, Grande will make a one-time payment of one million. $250,000 to her ex with no future alimony. He will also get half of the proceeds from the sale of their Los Angeles home, and she will pay up to twenty five grand toward his attorney's fees. Gomez, a real estate broker in Grande, began their relationship in early 2020, married in a small ceremony in 2021. Shortly after she filed for divorce, rumors surfaced that Grande was dating her wicked co-star, Ethan Slater. Uh, she was she was a Nickelodeon girl, right, Maddie? Yep. Okay, yeah. I mean, I just watched that uh, Quiet on the Set thing. Oh, you did? Oh. Notorious or something like uh, that? Or um, one, one of those shows. <laughs> yeah. if we, I think they put us on a list if we actually Yeah, know I, I don't actually know. <laughs> so we, we, we don't really want to admit <laughs> you know that we know which, which show. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I I guess I don't remember her getting married. And to me, she I mean, she still has that very youthful look. And she looks like, is she old enough to get married, number one? But it uh, looks like she's... Out of million bucks. I think they kept it kind of quiet, you know, and he's a real estate broker, so he's out of the entertainment, uh, uh, I guess, in front of the camera sort of uh, profession. But I think she's going for the co-star. Maybe it just was too fast, too furious. <laughs> yeah, which, you know, getting married young. There you go. Uh, a man from Japan known as Toko the Human Collie oh. shelled out more than 14000 bucks for a realistic dog costume. So Unfortunately disturbing. for Toko, the four-legged life appears to be a challenge as he fails to clear a doggy obstacle course. You're watching that now. There's nothing else on this channel. Uh, Toko's desire to be a dog <laughs> is no act. He says that he has dreamed of living like an animal long before he actually ordered the collie costume. He can actually be seen waving his right paw and cheer a uh -huh. snippet of himself rolling over in the dog costume, saying to the words, it takes all kinds. It sure does. <laughs> uh, that is a man in a dog costume. You know, if that's Let's what just... makes you happy.
Uh, I guess so. There could be worse things, I suppose, if that floats his boat. God bless him. It, the, the only thing I could see is, I fell in down the well. Go get help, Taco. <laughs> go get help. Uh, uh, I'm going to go get some coffee first. Uh, weird stuff. Got any weird neighbors that do stuff like this? We would love to hear from you. We also have more Flash coming up. What about dating? You know, how do you date uh, someone like it, that? Um, or do you find someone who's all in a I know is costume? the mom comes with a hose and it will spray you down if, if you do date someone. <laughs> well, I mean, that. if he's authentic, he's got to go get snipped. So I mean, if <laughs> there you go. If we're being real, it, that's Bob Barker. Yeah, hey, we Spay listen to your it. pets. More flash around the corner. If you go anywhere, you miss out on that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Oh. Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. February, well, we all know it's the month of love, but don't forget to love yourself. What does that actually look like? Joining us right now to talk about that is, of course, Dr. Jeter, who is joining us now, Dr. Jeter. This is so important that we get to this point because a lot of us forget that the first, we can't love unless we love ourselves. But what does it mean to love yourself? This is such a great question. And thank you for having me on Certainly. today. Yourself means pouring back into your being, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and physically. It also means connecting with those around you. Sometimes we forget that community and connecting with those who love us is also self-care and self-love. You know, and, and it's easy. We always hear that, uh, you know, just love each other and love yourself and that thing, but it's actually a little bit, some might take it harder than actually it can be. Can you share maybe some practical tips, maybe even some strategies for maybe integrating some self-care that we can put in our daily lives? Absolutely. So I lead conversations around self-care with mothers, youth leaders, executive leaders, and they I hear this question a lot. So it includes sleep, nutrition, exercise, and again, community. Last year, our U.S. Surgeon General declared a national epidemic on isolation and loneliness, yeah. which we know can increase your risk for heart disease by 32%. And so incorporating these two practical, four practical tools can help us generate a form of self-love and care. You know, we saw that during the pandemic, a huge rise in all this because people were, you know, staying home and that sort of thing. And then, you know, a lot of people, a lot of research comes out, it's like, all right, well, I need to start, you know, taking, having self-care. But there's some misconceptions that came along the way about self-care, maybe like the idea that you're being, um, indulgent in yourself or maybe even selfish? Are those common misconceptions when people think of self-care? Absolutely, absolutely. But when you think about pouring back into yourself and being an example of self-care for those around you, how could self-care and self-love ever be selfish? Uh, well, it's actually, yeah, that, that, that's a very good way to look at it. And I think maybe that's the way to start off by that. Um, I think, too, there there is a condition, though, where I think, and I'd like for you to speak on it, because a lot of times we put ourselves out there, like on Facebook, and we're showing, you know, all this, look at me, look at me, and look how much to love me, and that sort of thing. Could that sway to a different manner, maybe bringing on a different mental health crisis? Absolutely. When you think about um, burnout and issues that we're seeing within our community, for example, we saw millions of people leaving their jobs from yeah. exhaustion, being able to feel tired from just being overworked and having ways to not take time off. So it's important for us to think about what are we doing to pour into ourselves? How are we improving our mental health? How are we ensuring that we prevent burnout? And taking time off is another form of self-care. I think that people tend to focus it on being selfish, but it is impossible if you're loving yourself and showing others how to do the same. I love that. Yeah, and again, as I uh, started off with, I, I, even I know you, you can't love anybody else until you love yourself because you're just going to project onto them. And the stats of what's going on in the world and here in the United States are extremely interesting. First off, check this out. One in five U.S. adults experiences mental health illness each year. One in 28 U.S. adults have an experienced serious mental illness each year. And then 50% of all lifetime mental illness actually begins at the age of 14. Then 75% is at age 20. Why 14, Angelica? When we think about the ways in which our youth are engaging the world around them, 
see things around social media. We see things around a lot of isolation and lack of connection and getting outside and connecting with their friends and family. And we know that the earlier you are connected to social media, the more likely you are to suffer some forms of mental illness and mental disease, unfortunately. You know, um, there's a Justin Bieber song, and I always use it. Says, you know, instead of, you know what I'm talking about? You just need to love yourself. And I hear that because there's another thing you say when you're mad at somebody, hey, you need to go, whatever. But I think that is so much more uh, uh, deeper because obviously if they're doing something mean or something wrong, they're not loving themselves. And when you meet somebody that maybe you might characterize as that, how do you approach that? What do you say to them? I think that is important when you have someone in your life who may be experiencing some mental health issues or illness or problems in that moment, uh -huh. extend grace to them, offer a safe space, give them vulnerability. Because I know that when we share our own journey from a healed place, we give people the courage to do the same thing. So grace, safety, honesty, and vulnerability is essential when you see someone else going through those experiences. I love that. And uh, and also it's kind of like a mentor too, if you could see somebody that, wow, that person just seems to have it together. Well, obviously they're, they're, they love themselves. Let's talk about your experience. What are some maybe the most significant benefits that maybe people can really experience when they do get that self-care? Are we seeing a 180 in their life or are they seeing life differently? I absolutely love this question. The benefits are unsurmountable. When we think about the level of sleep, we all need more sleep, right? Yes. Improving sleep, <laughs> improving our overall health, being able to connect with others in a meaningful way, being able to be more productive and having energy throughout the day. And at the end of the day, when we pour into ourselves, it's really life or death. Yeah. Being able to have better quality of life and longevity who can put a price on that? I agree. All right, people are walking out the door, they're leaving to go to, to their work job, pick up the kids, whatever. What's the one piece of advice concerning all of this that you like, want them to have when they walk through that door? Remember that loving yourself and having healthy boundaries is an investment for the long run. Yeah, I love that. And you also get a great smile like uh, Dr. Angelica. And we definitely appreciate you being on the show. And it is very something very, very important. And in this world where a lot of people feel like they are alone, they are not. If, if they love themselves, they'll find what they need. Angelica Jeter, you can check out her information by going to her website. There it is on your screen. And if you want to improve your mental health, check it out. It's AngelicaJeter.com. And of course, we'll have this interview on our website as well when you head to DailyFlashShow.com. More Daily Flash coming up. We're doing it with Matt Doolittle. That's coming up right around the corner. Stick around. Trending news and entertainment right here on Daily Flash. Well, guys, we are just about two weeks out from my big day of getting hitched to my beautiful fiance, Leanne. And honestly, it can't come soon enough. I'm getting hitched in a couple of weeks. Can you guys believe it? <laughs> After all I've been through and all the relationships, I finally found one. And this past weekend, we finally had my rite of passage with my bachelor party. I want to thank some of my lifelong buddies who came out. That includes Mr. Mitch English there, my buddies Travis Dale, Travis Storm, Jeremo, Big Dean, they all came to town to help me celebrate. Now, we didn't do any of that crazy stuff you see in the movies that we would have done 10 years ago, and this would have been about 20 more people and a lot less clothes, trust me. It was a nice night out of catching up with some top golf and dinner, but some of the details are a little fuzzy, I'll be honest, but I have to say this meant more to me than it would have 10 years ago. Now, I'm older, I'm 39, I dare say, and a bit more selective with who I hang out with. I had a bunch of ne'er-do-wells running around back in the day and some people we just lost connection. A couple of those guys in there I've known since preschool. The rest came along, Mitch and Travis, I met as an intern on my first TV <laughs> job some 17, eight years ago. Uh, yeah, wow. uh, it really helped me put the stuff in the perspective as you know, all those guys are all married, they've all got kids and I'm the last one of the bunch to make this leap. Now it's taken me a while, it's a, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of had my own issues and stuff I had to work out, but therapy helped a lot. And this is all part of my going forward. And anyone who knows me over the years knows I, I sort of did what I wanted. I took off where I wanted to, I lived where I wanted to, I jumped around to a few new professions because I could. But now I've decided it's time to finally settle down. Simmer down. With this, 
At this time, it's coming up in my wedding. I finally have a sense of settling down, getting my roots, starting to figure out the whole life thing at almost 40, you know, to each their own. And the bachelor parties usually end up like they do in the movies with someone loses a shoe, you lose them overall, you have to throw some people in cabs to head home early, but right. everyone leaves smelling like Dillard's and covered in glitter usually, but that's not what we did. This was exactly what I wanted to do with my boys from all over the world, so I wanted to thank you guys and everybody else that's coming to the wedding. Let's get ready for party part three, because let's see, this I'll have what, three total bachelor parties yeah. going on here, Mitch? Between yes. Vegas, this one, and then we're going to see Billy Joel this weekend. So. Absolutely. Oh. Very excited for all three of them, too, which is great. And no one got arrested, which is, I think is an accomplishment. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one died, no one got arrested, so again, thanks guys, and we did it. But my bachelor party. There you go. Well, congratulations, yeah, Matt. Yeah, we're all looking forward uh, to all of that. And you know, out of everything, it was cool just to chill. You know, the guy guys, you know, yeah. you're sitting watching a football game and chill, but this was nice being out and chilling. So yeah, you guys cool. did the top golf. You went to yeah. dinner. Very adult of you. <laughs> did a very uh, mature. You know, it was, <laughs> and it was a, a weird feeling all together, knowing that you know we could do whatever we want. We had uh, day passes from our wives. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're just gonna hang out. Why not? It was cold and rainy. So uh, there you it, go. it was a little eye-opening to hear Matt say he interned with us 20 years I ago. I know. That's so weird. <laughs> he came to us as a bright-eyed little, uh, you know, at fresh Disney. Out of college. I remember that. It was, it was insane. Yeah. So you guys broke me. We broke. We him. broke him. <laughs> My goodness. Well, he's made it out okay. Indeed. We've got some entertainment news for you now. Victoria Beckham, aka our favorite posh spice, says she is not ready to be a grandmother just yet. During a recent interview with Vogue magazine, the 49-year-old was surprised by the question, was she ready to be a Nana? Well, she said she's looking forward to it, but doesn't see herself in that role just yet. Victoria and her hubby, David Beckham, have been married for 24 years. Wow. They have four children, Brooklyn, 24, Romeo, 21, Cruz, 18, and Harper, 12. Their son, Brooklyn, recently married Nicola Peltz, a model and actress from a wealthy Palm Beach family. Uh -huh. Victoria once asked Vogue bigwig Anna Wintour how she deals with being a grandmother and what her grandkids call her. Anna told Victoria she enjoys it, but they don't call her grandma, just Anna. Just Anna. <laughs> Which I right. think a lot of ladies are sort of like, don't call me grandma. That's, uh, yeah, just call me my first name. Or they, they have, a nickname. Yeah, a nickname is the, the biggest. Grandma seems to be the most uh, offensive, I guess, somewhat. Um, I can understand where she's at, and I think she's got the right attitudes. Like, right now, no, I don't want to be a grandma, but there is going to be a time. I'm dying yeah. to be a grandfather. And, I, and, and what's so crazy about my kids, I tell them, I was like, look, you have a permanent babysitter. You guys can go do stuff, <laughs> whatever. True. Just drop the baby. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I'm like looking forward to it. Nowhere in the scope of me ever being a grandfather anytime soon. But one day, I'm crossing my fingers. You mentioned Billy Joel. Yep. Legendary piano man Billy Joel has been uh, de-aged by AI in his latest music video. It's his first single in nearly two decades. Oh, check it he out. posted the music video, which features a 74-year-old rocker star flipping through the pages of the lyrics for Famous Last Words, released back in 1993. Then it cycles through a number of moments in his life and career while performing inside of a really cool concert venue. As the camera moves up, the singer is seen as a much younger version of himself, as you can see there. Joel is then aged a few more years before he starts the chorus for his new song, Turn the Lights Back On. Now, he recently performed the song during this year's Grammy Awards, the first time he took the award stage to sing in more than 20 years. Wow. And during the show's red carpet event he told an interviewer he had lost interest in songwriting over the years and recently found new inspiration from the producers of his new song we can keep playing this video if we can so you can see some of the aging process it, yeah. it's neat that he's embracing yeah. that too and he also says one billion dollars if you want my uh, audio uh, library of all of his oh, music really? he, he'll, he'll, he'll consider it for a billion dollars oh, wow. well good for him good for him he's yeah. lost money twice in his life went bankrupt more flash after this is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. 
Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. Hi, I'm Mitch English. Welcome to you to Daily Flash. Mm -hmm. uh, before getting off, I, you know, people are asking my shirt. This is a piece. Uh, it, a piece is power. And I like the logo. Isn't that neat? This yeah. is four piece. It's actually uh, my my good friend Stuart Marriott. Uh, he owns uh, Peace Life Shop, and uh, he's getting it going. Just trying to spread out the good vibes to everybody about like, like there is a way that we can all get together as a piece. You can check that out. You can drop me an email. I'll send you to it. But uh, Stuart Marriott out in Arizona. Of the Marriott us. Marriott. Of the Marriott Marriotts. Yes, uh, I've known him for, geez, almost 30 years. 30 wow. Years, so. Great, great guy here. Um, let's talk about sports. Um, more and more people are getting blown away, which kind of, it boggles my mind a little bit, watching NCAA oh, basketball, yeah. women's oh, NCAA yeah. basketball. However, mm -hmm. they're saying now the ticket prices to these games are higher than the men's NCAA. Really? And it actually, it, well, as of uh, the, the late, once you get into the final yeah. four, and they're, they're attributing it to Caitlin Clark. And Matt, you can yeah. jump on this because yep. I know you're a big basketball Caitlin player. Caitlin Clark is... Uh, and Angel Reese, uh, they're saying that uh, just the other day, uh, Caitlin Gart with, uh, what was it, 41 points, Matt, that she yeah, had done with 41 LSU. to take Iowa on the Final Four. Yeah, I mean, and so and now, a lot of people are saying this. And now even people, what, is it Ice Cube that has his little basketball? Three, yeah, he's got the three, three yeah, on the three, three league. Has said, listen, I'll bring these women on and pay them, and they they don't have to play during if they go pro, mm -hmm. and they already are making money uh, in college just by their name. Already have a slew right, of right the uh, nil the, thing. The, mm -hmm. I don't think it'll ever take over. As far as I just think it's right now it's the hot ticket that people are seeing uh, the season, if you will. But mm -hmm. they're saying the ratings for these things are just getting higher and higher for women's basketball. Well, and she's going to have a decision to make because yep. because if she goes to the WNBA, they need her because she's drawing crowds. Mm -hmm. She is an attention getter. She's a phenomenal player. So she could really do something by putting the WNBA on the map. But those players don't make nearly the no amount of here. money as the male counterparts. And on top of it, if she were to go play for Ice Cube's league, you know, she's looking at millions of dollars up front. So financially, it could be a boon for her. If she goes to the WNBA, she could make up that money in sponsorships and endorsement deals. It just all depends on which avenue she decides to go down. I think, if, I think if she goes uh, WNBA, Nike's going to back up the Brinks truck because she had a strong combination uh, uh, collaboration with Kobe and stuff. Yeah. Oh, really? Back, yeah, she, he, they really were. Like, he was her coach for a little bit and everything. So I think that Nike would just back up the Brinks truck. I think we're in a different age now. I mean, we had a story just uh, a, a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about how uh, girls wrestling is becoming yeah. more and more popular and that sort of thing. And it, I, I, you know, I don't necessarily watch WNBA basketball, but I mean, I, I think NC college basketball, I, I think is a little bit more exciting mm -hmm. because I think they're really working for it. And then once they get into the, the professional, it's kind of like, it's all about me and that sort of thing. Well, it's also about marketing too, marketing, because if yeah. you look at the way they've marketed women's basketball this year, it's been a huge push and Caitlin Clark has been a big part of it. She's been a big storyline. And so is the rivalry between Iowa and LSU. Well, and with these women, we've actually gotten to know them while they're in college. Mm -hmm. Whereas the men, usually they're one and done now. They get, they get their mm -hmm. one year of they have to not go to the NBA and then they're out and they're in the league and then some of them are great like Paolo Benchero who's on the magic mm -hmm. and then some of them you don't hear from ever again uh, I th you know you know I always think it's crazy even whatever sport is the the draft situation the worst team gets the best player which I, there's parts of me that goes all right I get that yeah, you know, but like you're the best thing that's ever got to go to this real crappy team. You know, know what I'm saying? I always right. thought it should be a rotating. Yeah. Where yeah. You, get, you know, everybody gets their one every 29 yeah. years. But. but you also, if you're the first to be picked, also get the most money. That's true, too. So, that's you know, there's a little bit of, um, you know, extra padding to go along with that pain if you're picked for the worst team. All right. So think about that there. Uh, okay. Do you think she should play? Uh, pro, go pro, maybe take a little bit longer in college or whatever, and uh, we would love to hear your thoughts on this. You can drop us an email at flash at dailyflashshow.com. we got more stuff coming along. We right? sure do. If you miss a minute, you miss a lot, so That's do not go anywhere. Attention Daily Flash fans. Ever dreamt of being part of the action? Now's your chance. Join our exclusive virtual audience and experience the show like never before. Get a special credit on the show, interact with our fabulous hosts, chat with producers, and guess what? Some lucky participants might even find themselves on a massive billboard in iconic locations like New York's Times Square, Los Angeles' Sunset Strip, Miami, or Atlanta. Don't miss out on this electrifying opportunity. Sign up now by heading over to blyzeal.com and be a star with the Daily Flash virtual audience. In this week's Help My Home, we call on our favorite home improvement guy, Gator. Hey, this is Gator with a few easy hacks to help you help your home. 
If you got screens on your windows, they're ripped or coming apart, or you need to replace them, or you got a screened in porch or some screen doors, I'm going to show you how you can easily do this yourself, okay? You need to go to your hardware store and get a roll of screen. They come in all different sizes and all different lengths. You need to get a roll of spline, which is like this black rubber type material. Sometimes you can use the old one that comes out of your screen, but it's easier to get some new ones. And this little spline tool, and all of these things can be bought for pretty relatively cheap at the same spot at your hardware store. Now what you want to do is cut a piece of your screen that's a little bit bigger than the actual frame of the screen, okay? And just lay it on there like that. Then you take your spline. I'm using the old piece that came out of here because there was nothing wrong with it. Then you take your spline tool and what you want to do is there's a little groove around here and you take this rubber spline and you just kind of lay it right here at the beginning where it starts and you use this little tool and you actually push it in the groove. One side's kind of a little easier to use than the other side. And you just push this in just like this. And as you see, it goes in that little groove and it'll tighten that screen up. Then you just turn like this and just keep going all the way around. Now, when you get done, you'll have something that looks like this. You just take your razor knife and cut your excess screen off and you've got a nice tight screen and it didn't cost you very much. You can do a whole bunch of screens when you get one of these rolls. And if you have one that's broke, they sell these pieces and these corners at your hardware store and you can rebuild this whole thing. All right, then replace your screens. Next. If you've got solar lights around your house, which a lot of people do, could be like this, could be like this, but they have these solar screens and they get this stuff on them. The sun causes that and then it gets the screen covered up and they don't get as much sun. They don't work as good. This is hard to clean. I've tried all different kinds of things. So I found something that works. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. And basically it's off bug spray. Yeah, I know. Looks like that. You just spray it right on the screen, just like this. It will eat that stuff away that's on there from that sun. You just get a little rag, wipe it down. It'll have that screen looking like brand new. And then it's going to get plenty of light. And even on something like this, this older style that's got this screen, I mean, that thing is pretty, pretty beat up. The light hardly even works because it doesn't get sun. You spray this off right on there, just like that. Let it sit for a second. Wipe it right off. And it cleans that screen back to where it's supposed to be. You can even use a little more on there and then it's then it's going to charge and then your light's going to work like it should this stuff's hard to get off that's all you got to do off bug spray all right then next so when you're doing home repair things around your house you know you don't always have the right tool which is why i make a lot of these videos if you've ever need to strip a piece of wire you might not have a wire stripper you're looking for a knife or whatever I'm gonna show you something that's pretty cool that a lot of people might not even know about, but you take some fingernail clippers, most people will have these, and you take this top piece and flip it over and you can actually squeeze this together. And this will actually come off of here and then you can remove this little rod out the center, okay? And then what happens is you're left over with a pair of cutters and strippers, and you can use these for a lot of different things, but you can take a piece of wire, this is the normal size wire you would find on your outlet or plug, and you can put it on there and just kind of spin it a little bit and it will strip that wire back like it's nothing. It works great for little wire too. You can take this little wire and not only will it strip this stuff, but it'll also cut this stuff just like that. You can cut right through it or you can strip it, whichever you want to do. This thing will work good for a lot of different things. You'd be surprised what you use this for. Just take it apart. You never know when you might need it. All right, then y'all have a good day. Next. Carry your groceries with a pool noodle. Cut one about four or five inches long. Most of you guys can eyeball that. Put a slit down the middle. Place your bags inside the pool noodle, just like this. You can carry a bunch of them like this as well, just like that. Now you can carry your grocery bags with ease. Nooch. Be sure to catch my home hacks and more right here on the Daily Flash. Stay with us, more Daily Flash right after this. Scientific research continues to evolve for those affected with Parkinson's. Here's more. Almost a million people in the U.S. live with Parkinson's and 90,000 more are diagnosed every year. While there's currently no cure for Parkinson's disease, significant advancements continue to be made. Deep brain stimulation, or DBS, uses a medical device similar to a cardiac pacemaker to help control debilitating tremors for people living with Parkinson's. DBS can be life-changing for patients providing the ability to fully engage in everyday moments. Learn more at discoverdbs.com. 
You know, some of us suffer, suffering from colds and flu are also detailing with an irritating cough. Fortunately, Dr. Ken Redcross joins us with everything you need to know about coughs in our latest Dr. Ken Redcross to the Rescue Health Minute. Most coughs fall into two categories, a productive or wet cough and a non-productive dry or spasmatic cough. Productive coughs should not be suppressed. These kind of coughs are the body's way of clearing out mucus. Non-productive coughs are ones that don't produce phlegm. Typically, these dry, hacky coughs need to be calmed and soothed, particularly at bedtime so that they don't prevent sleep. The sound of a cough can reveal what's going on in your chest. With productive coughs, you'll hear a wet, rattling, or crackling noise that points to underlying congestion. Non-productive coughs sound harsh and dry. For a cough associated with the cold, skip the suppressants because they inhibit the body's natural desire to heal. Instead, use boron chest oil honey that works with the body to improve the productivity of a cough. This homeopathic cough syrup loosens chest congestion and relieves all types of common coughs that occur with the cold. It can be used in children and adults over age four. Drinking water or other healthy liquids will help to thin mucus secretions and ease congestion. Breathing in steam or using a humidifier can also moisturize your airways and calm a cough. If you have a cough that persists for more than a week, be sure to see your doctor. I'm Ken Redcross with your Dr. Redcross to the Rescue Health Minute. Hey, we got some great advice if you're dealing with cold and flu symptoms. Here's more. Don't let a cold knock out the whole family this winter. It can be difficult to keep germs at bay when someone in the house is sick. I recommend implementing a shoe-free zone. It minimizes the introduction of external pathogens onto clean surfaces. However, sometimes even with our best efforts, the battle rages on. That's where Dulcim comes in. Delsum's formula provides 12 hours of long-lasting relief from coughs, letting you rest and recover. For more information, visit Delsum.com. Up next, a celebrity nail stylist is showing us one of the hottest spring nail trends, and it's something so easy you can do it in your own home. Hi, and thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to share with you, brand new from KISS, the Salon Extend LED Soft Gel System. It's so easy now to bring the salon home and update your manicure in minutes. It's the first of its kind for long-lasting salon quality gel nail extensions right at home. These are pre-sculpted, they're pre-polished with the exclusively formulated KISS Soft Gel Adhesive for a weightless, bubble-free, natural nail finish that lasts up to 14 days. The removal is totally mess free. They come in 18 pre-polished styles and they are available in different designs, different colors, and different lengths and shape as well. Some major trends that we're seeing are natural tones, a sheer beige, a soft pink, the floral daisy design, which is what I'm currently wearing right now, along with the French tip. I like to mix it up. And also the jelly nails, a pastel is big along with the jelly so you have two trends in one and of course a long school wall for a shape and a little glitter ombre tip as well for more information you can go to kissusa.com and these are available in retailers Ulta, Target, CVS and Walmart and now a simple exercise everyone should be doing that will improve your overall health walking is a great way to reduce stress and boost mood but recent reports show that walking rates in the United States are declining. Studies show that adding just 10 minutes of daily activity can save more than thousands of lives a year. Physical activity can improve mental health and lower the risk of disease. With April 3rd being National Walking Day, the American Heart Association is encouraging everyone to step out for a walk. Learn more at heart.org slash move more. So much more trending news and entertainment's heading your way. But first, let's check in with our friends at The Daily Buzz right here on Daily Flash. What can you expect when the moon passes directly between the Earth and the sun on April 8th? We'll let the astronaut explain. There's a band that's called the Path of Totality. And if you're in the middle of that band, you can get up to four and a half minutes of the moon blocking the sun. If you're on the edge of the band, you may only get a few seconds. If you're not in that band, you're probably gonna see a partial eclipse where the moon just kind of 
partially covers up the sun. So most of America is going to get to see that. It's a really exciting and rare event. So Sonic is helping you celebrate the total solar eclipse safely. They have a special promotion where if you get their blackout slush float, you can get a free pair of eclipse glasses, which is really important because you don't want to look at the sun with your naked eyes or even normal sunglasses. The drink is really cool. It's, it's black, so it's kind of for the darkness of the eclipse. It's cotton candy and dragon fruit flavored, so it's sweet. It's got some soft serve on top and some galaxy sprinkles, so it's a, it's a really cool space um, treat. Check out SonicDriveIn.com. According to a Forbes survey of 1,000 U.S. adults, 48% of people said improving their fitness was a top resolution for them. While dancing has often been incorporated into fitness routines, researchers have found there's a variety of benefits to letting your inner dancer free and have some fun. Research shows that dancing is not only good for our bodies, but it's also good for our minds and moods too, possibly delaying cognitive decline. Lifestyle expert Kia Malone suggests Ubisoft's Just Dance 2024 edition. Just Dance 2024 features 40 new songs from the latest hits to beloved classics. A one month free trial to Just Dance Plus is included with every copy of Just Dance 2024, which gives users access to hundreds of songs, including all time favorite legacy tracks from previous Just Dance games. To learn more, you can visit JustDanceGame.com. Understanding Medicare options is essential for the 4 million Americans turning 65 this year. With Original Medicare, you get coverage for hospital stays and doctor's visits. But there's a deductible for each, and you're responsible for 20% of the cost. With Medicare Advantage, you get coverage for hospital stays, ER visits, doctor's visits, and you may have coverage for prescription drugs as well at no extra cost. And there's a yearly cap on out-of-pocket fees. Picking a primary care physician is a critical first step. We encourage members to find somebody that is in a value-based care arrangement because they have more frequent and longer visits and it helps your doctor to get to know you better. Including social behaviors. Social isolation affects as many as 43% of seniors and it can have a very negative effect on their health. Get more info at Humana.com and Medicare.gov. Follow the Daily Buzz on social media. Hey, before we head into the weekend, we always like to give you our picks for streaming for the weekend. This is where we got to tell you something you have to check out on your streaming services. Jackson, kick it off. Okay, documentary, HBO Max. It's called, they called him mostly harmless. Call your county 911. What is your emergency? Uh, we just found a dead body. There was nothing there with a name on it. No wallet, no credit cards, no photo ID. We don't really know who he is. How difficult is this going to be? This looks really cool. Okay, I just found it accidentally, but it was about a, a hiker that they found uh, here in Florida, and he had no identification on him. So it's this crazy uh, journey to find out who the guy really is. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. it's so okay. good. Yeah. Wow. All right. All right. Well, my pick this week is the guys from the Grand Tour with their new series on Amazon Prime with Sandjob. James, do you think this is going to work? James May. What? Do you think this is going to work? What? <laughs> so old. I wish that I knew what I know now. Junes! When I was younger. Yep, the infamous trio of Clarkson, May, and uh, uh, these guys just get in all kinds of trouble and stuff, and now they got to take, like, little Supra cars and go across the desert and try to not... I mean, a lot of it's set up, <laughs> but it's been such a fun to watch these guys because they don't know how many... They're, they're crowd favorites because they tried to change the hosts and people yeah, couldn't no, watch it. Well, they got kicked show. off Top Gear. And Top then, Gear, that's but, what yeah. it is. <gasps> All right, really oh, yeah. cool stuff there. All right, listen, I'm all about the documentaries, and just when you think you have this one figured out, a left field twist comes in. It's the Netflix doc lover, stalker killer. No matter how well you hit it off with somebody on the dating site, you don't really know who they are. This was one of the strangest, most unpredictable cases I'd ever worked in. Prosecutors allege a love triangle turned fatal. I was starting over as a single person, and I was determined to enjoy it. That's when Carrie Farber came into my life. 
The only thing I could say about this is pay. The only thing I say about this is pay attention. Mm -hmm. Watch the first part of it. I'm telling you, there is so many tangles. Wow. You know when they put that wall with the strings everywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is one of their shows. You got to check it out. Times three. Times yeah. three. It's yeah. really, really cool. That does it for our show. Thank you for spending time with us. Be good, everybody. For more information, head to our website, dailyflashshow.com. Peace and love. Peace, Peace and, and love. love. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for.